Hello, I'm at the Champagne Summit, organised by Harper Dwyer and Spirit at Soho House, and I'm with Richard Banfield, who's just taken us through a masterclass of uh, rosé champagnes. Uh, Richard, you mentioned in your class that uh, rosé champagne is not easy to make, where there is a, an understanding that, or a belief that it is. So can you tell us your, your understanding? Well, that's, that's right. They, they've spent 300 years learning how to make white champagne and trying to eliminate the colour from black grapes. And with rosé champagne, obviously, they're trying to ensure that they retain some of the colour from black grapes. And it's not that straightforward, particularly if you're using the maceration process or the senior process. When you, if you visit cellars when they're actually making wine, you know that the fermenting must is murky, it's cloudy. And the rosé must, the, from red grapes, it goes through a phase where it's at best grey in colour. It's certainly not pink or red. And so actually drawing the juice off the skins at that stage and assessing exactly when the colour is right for a rosé is really difficult. That's a real skill. And, and what's, it is a real skill. And what's more, they, during, ferment, or during the maceration process, they also the, 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 the must, it, it, it uh, loses some of its acidity. So they've also got to take that into account. They've got to draw the juice off the skins at just the right moment, both for the colour and for acidity levels and balance. And it is very, very difficult because we'd love to think that you draw it off the skins and it's lovely and bright and brilliant and uh, salmon pink. But it's not at that stage. Mm. It's murky and a little bit greyish pink in colour. Very difficult. Well, this skill is something we should appreciate when we're enjoying it. We, we should enjoy it. I mean, that's not to say that all, champ all rosé champagnes are made by the maceration method. In fact, the majority are probably made by the blending method. But even with the blending method, Getting the colour and the balance exactly where you want them are difficult because it's just not what Champagne has spent the last 300 years doing. They're, they're all producers are having to learn a lot about how to manage their reserve wines, the red wines they're using in the blend, and the proportion of Chardonnay that they use in the blend as well to get the right balance, the, the right overall balance and the desired colour. Great. Thank you for taking us through that, Richard. Thank you very much. That's